Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Uh, today we're going to go on Oper Operation Dripping Terror, which is a sabotage mission. Uh, we have Shadow Squad on this mission, which will help a lot. That means we can reconceal if need be. Should also give us a bunch of supplies, which is something we did. Uh, last time we took on the Black Sight mission very, very, very late. And it took it was a long video and ended up being like over an hour long. Um, this one hopefully will be a lot quicker. <laughs> but I think that's probably the eh, I don't think it is the latest I've put up Black Sight mission. It's close to the latest I've put up Black Sight mission, that's for damn sure. Um, I'll cut out the rest of this loading screen. I don't know how long it'll be, but I'll cut it out anyway. Oh, maybe not. Didn't even have to. Alright, so we have to run a fairly long distance. Um, the plus side to that being... I, ha I can reconceal if need be. I've seen no one doing that, which is insane to me, but... Okay. At least that means it's safe for me to run up this way, I guess. Uh, or seemingly safe to run up this way anyway. I don't really want to watch run much further than what I have here. I want to make sure I have cover from the forward direction at least. Uh, that's all dead end. I go quickly. I'm concealed, so I'm not too worried about running up, if I'm honest. Solid copy. Um. I'll go for a second run. I don't want to send her like a million miles away, but I will send her up. All right. Because having her scouting up there is always going to be a better decision, I feel. Volk says I am to obey. Sight beyond vision. Their patrol is located the objective commander. All right, so we've got an elite priest, an elite trooper. I think we may have to engage. If nothing else, just to destroy some of these transmitters? Um... I mean, sure. Location confirmed. Full cover and you can get to it. Uh, who is my furthest person away? Dobrin in you, right? No need to ask twice. My Templar with this ludicrous frickin' movement. Um... Reasonable. Templar doesn't actually need line of sight, which is worth noting. Okay. I must run. Because I'm going to be using his sword if I use him at all, so... Um, for now I'll overwatch. I think I heard Sectopod. I do know there's some here, so... This is a group I can take out pretty easily. It's what, like 30 total health? I can do that in a turn. You know what I can do actually is uh sting this thing dead. The time is now. I should stay in shadow. Well done. As we yep. hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Alright. Now, Dobrininia, do you have... No, you don't. There's a 40% crit chance here. Does 9 to 11. It's probably not a bad idea, in all honesty. Alternatively, I could throw the axe to start out. Does 7 to 9, but 
I'll be able to take a shot afterwards. I think that's correct. Got a critical too. 10 damage. It's not bad. I'm really not worried about these two. I th I'm, no matter where they go, I'm going to be able to take them out in the first turn. Um, in fact, this idiot. Oh no, he is in cover. That's alright. <laughs> um, I mean, this guy can just die. Kind of annoying. Um, I kind of want to get the kill with him if I can. You can take that shot. Because now you can overwatch afterwards. I can do a lightning hands here. And then go for a uh, pistol shot here. Um, that leaves me in what, 6 health? Yes. I think that guarantees the kill with the rend. I will tear you apart. Indeed. That gives me some focus, which is good. I uh, just parry at that point. Um, and I want you on overwatch here. You on pistol overwatch so that when he tries to do anything he will die. In fact, he was burning so he died anyway. I mean, that works. Um, now with five turns, I feel much better about um, continuing on here and run up here. I also have another reconcealment. It's also worth noting. Which I will definitely make use of. Uh, don't go too far ahead yet. But I think first thing we're going to do is... I don't suppose I get focus off these, do I? Seems unlikely. I can't just fire a pistol at it though. And then move everyone else up. I guess move up and conceal is probably the better option. But I think for now what I'm going to do is move up. To at least semi-defensible positions. Ugh dangerous to go to this spot here, so I don't think I'm going to. I think for now we just go Let's here. I kind of want to run up to here, but it's stupidly dangerous with someone who time. doesn't have concealment. Uh, pistol overwatch. You can go on overwatch too. Alright. You can run in here. I know where you are. Uh, what is that? Two Archons and an Elite Spectre. Here is the thing. Interesting. Kind of tempting. I don't think that counts as a kill though, so I wouldn't be guaranteed my stealth. Um, I think we uh, reconceal with pretty much everybody. They have better eyesight than I give them credit for. Um, Moving forward. I will reconcile with everybody. She was never here. Stepping off. Concealed. That's not a bad spot. Alright, so we're going to end up in a fairly good position because we're going to be having... 
Hmm. A real amazing spot for him, to be perfectly fair. Uh, there won't be anything amazing for her either. But we have four turns before we can, um... Hmm. Kind of annoying I have to run there. Should have timed it. I should have spaced it out better, but whatever. She gets an overwatch anyway, which is what I would have done. Irrespective. Um, I may as well put her into full cover. On the off chance they walk all the way up here, but I very much doubt that they do. I'm at your service. Alright. The amount of damage I do on this guy is kind of insane. Um... There was another arc on here, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I saw two Archons. A deadly trap. Um, not yet. Someone else might be able to shoot this better. Breaking stealth, but at the same time... I think it's worth it. There was another arc on there, I was correct. They're on to me. Uh, the reason I didn't do any overwatches there is that Archons are particularly hard to hit and Elite Spectres are impossible to hit when they go into, um, see he's now in a flank position, so that makes me fairly safe to do this. This isn't quite a guaranteed kill, but I'm going to take it anyway. Sweet. Zero percent chance. Zero percent chance to be revealed because I got a kill. Um, you are still concealed. Interestingly. Wait, hang on. Oh, that's really cool. Show a face off it. You missed a seventy-four. That's annoying. Take the shot. A righteous strike. A righteous strike. We've been discovered. Uh, the reason I killed this one with the rend is because he had. 14 alloy, alien alloys and an Illyrium core. Uh, he was carrying loot, which was clear to me because there was a little symbol on his thing. Uh, just parry at this point. I'm not going to run too much further forward. Is there anyone... I guess it's better to reveal you because you can shoot twice. Sweet. Second team down. Um, and honestly, just move up. Uh, you are still concealed, which is awesome. I've just got to remember that my specialist is concealed, because I will likely forget that. Study Guardia. Study Guardia. Alrighty then. That's as far as I can run without jumping through the window, which is kind of annoying. No place for you to go now. They're clumsy. I can see the agenda from here. Alright. Hmm. The 98% chance on the sector pod. It's 32 health. I do 12 to 13. I'm gonna reload. And I'm going to run up here with my other stealth character. Now these guys shouldn't be seen from here, according to my 
thing, so take that. It gives me an extra turn to deal with shit if it comes up. You can actually friggin' shoot from here. Um... Finally. It's pretty ridiculous. Um... For now, do nothing. All right, Overwatch. 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 They see me? I think they saw me. They did. That's fine. Absolutely fine. I mean, brilliant. All the Overwatch shots onto the bloody, uh... Onto the sector pod. Absolutely fantastic. Means I probably don't need to burn my Banish now, in all honesty. I can probably just shoot it. Although, if we want to be safe... How do I kill the others? I have a combat protocol there that could come in useful. 95, 55, and 23. That ain't good. 90% Wrath. I think I take that 90% wrath. Alright now. That's annoying. What I really want to do is, like... Not bad, position-wise. Hundred percent chance, seven to eight. Um, forty percent chance for a crit, so I could kill him, I suppose. Or we can do this one for the guaranteed kill. I guess just take guaranteed kill, actually. That explosion was what I was worried about, by the way. Um, blue screen sniper shot. Sure, but you may as well take the lightning hand pistol first. Alright, sector board down. Hopefully I'm not close enough with Greco that's gonna hurt me. God damn it. I thought I was one thing far enough away. Also, it made bloody what's his name fall down, so that was annoying. Uh, we have two turns. You know what, just to guarantee it, we'll do a banish. There we go. Plant that X4, and I think we're done. Four charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before I take it they back. cut it off. All right. Um. I mean, I guess I'll heal while I'm here, just to be safe. I have a con. I have two conceals with. Um. My Reaper. So I'm not particularly worried about letting her get seen. I 
don't know why I shot that. I was trying to do uh, Overwatch. I just mashed two, which is the wrong button on people with pistols. Um, I'll go Shadow because it's just a better form of concealment. All right, so we've got to find the last remaining guys, and I'm just going to run out with Wraith and find them with her. That was simple. <laughs> we have a shot here. Not an amazing shot though. So I think what we do is we actually uh, get up top here. Then what we're going to do is run the rest of our guys up. You'll get seen if you're here. Which I don't want necessarily. So come here instead. Just run to here. And you, I need you to go like this way I suppose. And apparently this is fine. Good. Um, give me an overwatch. Yeah, overwatch, overwatch. I should go and reload there rather than overwatch. Maybe? Them running into me is probably... Yeah, the overwatch is actually probably better. Hopefully this doesn't draw overwatch for exactly that reason. I mean, you have a stock at least, so it did some damage, but... I really don't care that the Heavy Maker's on Overwatch, because I'm going to shoot him immediately anyway. Case in point. I'm going to kill him immediately anyway. There we go. <laughs> the Overwatch was removed. Really, you can't get a combo protocol on the Elite Spectre. I question this. Um, this is dangerous, but I'm going to do it anyway. Could die of burning, but I don't trust that. Um, can I now combat protocol the other one? Now I can combat protocol any of them. From here I should be able to combat protocol them. That's what I want. I don't know why that... I'm 90% sure Spectres are robotic type enemies, but I don't, for some reason, Combat Protocol doesn't do extra on them, which kind of sucks. Alright, so I could kill him. I've got a better way of killing him, though. Hmm. We'll see. We shall see. I'm blocking the ladder both ways up there, which is kind of irritating. Um... Face off. That'll guarantee the trooper kill. Also get a shot on the spectre, which is nice. Yeah, see, eight, see, blue screen rounds work on them. But for some reason, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Should be able to kill it though. This plus the Templar. Don't even need the Templar. There we go. Uh, overflow AP, that's good. Um... Mission debriefing. Yeah, it's fair enough for, for MVP. Wow. I didn't even know this was a photo that could be a thing. Huh. What is that? A muton with a faceless and then a sector? 
This must be updated. Someone's updated this mod, because that was never a thing that used to be able to be a photo. Huh. Anyway. I will go mission photo. Sure. That'll do. Alright. So that mission was fairly easy. I got hit once and that was for my own stupidity, not realizing that both my guys were too close to that sector pod when it exploded. Because I know they explode, but I took the shot anyway because it's a sector pod and it scares me. <laughs> but in all honesty, I think it probably worked out better that way anyway. Because just the positioning of the other two were... It's worth taking the hit, if you know what I mean. Because I'll be wounded for like a couple of days. I'm really not that worried about it. Alright, and we're back. Long log times. Not a whole lot I can do about it, but... Well, there's a whole lot I can do about it, like, from a video perspective, because I can just cut that shit out. Aha! Keenan promoted to Colonel. I think I'm gonna grab both of these, because they're both amazing. And I'm gonna spend 15 on running gun, because running gun on her would also be amazing. I kind of want to get shredded. You know what? Fuck it. Let's use all these XCOM points, shall we? And... Aha! This one is harder for me. This, like, a uh, colonel rank for these guys? I don't really know what to get. I mean, Battle Lord is really good. It's hard to pass up Battle Lord. Eh, sure. A uh, bunch of corpses, alien alloys, alirum core. Sector pod breakdown, that's nice. It's the first time we've had a mission where we can actually collect a sector pod corpse. Bunch of supplies, which I very much need. And we counted the dark event, which I don't really care about. Uh, bond trains available, sure. We'll do that as quick as possible. Um, I have no active research. I don't know why I have no active research. Is somehow directly connected to its notable psionic aptitude. The aliens always have some reasoning to their actions, even as twisted as it is often revealed to be. There we go, alien psyamp. So that ups my psy abilities. I may actually build that immediately. Um. Also gets automated threat assessment, which is nice, but I don't really care. Um, I guess just this go for the shortest. The Advent shield up. bears are quite similar to the bulk of Advent's forces, and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. It's kind of interesting there. That's a good point that I'd never really considered, is the fact that um, a shield bearer is essentially the same as an advent officer. Doing an autopsy on them wouldn't really tell you anything new, it's more the tech that they've got rather than the autopsy itself. Uh, before I chuck people in there, let's have a look at my soldiers. Who needs it the most? Kazakhs, Tapper, Prophet. Dobrynya. But you're in bond training, so you can't. You're in bond training, so you can't. As we have seen, they would take not only our power and our world, but the essence of our very being as well. Lazarus, Lazarus Greco, and Dobrynya, I think, need to go in here, and then whoever else. Although these are the only two who can go in there currently. Interesting. That's annoying. Chance to panic when a squad main panics. This probably isn't very likely to come up, but I'm going to cure it before we go on the final mission. Um, I can't do that now. No, I can't do that now because he is in bond training. Okay. Reduce contact cost. Not now, but that interests me. I was making contact here is what I was doing. Sector 11, West 
But I've already paid the cost for this, so I don't care as much. Our soldiers took some hits during the most recent covert action. But word from the medical team is they'll all be fine. Um, yeah, okay, so he got wounded, but he got a promotion. Uh, that's right, because there was guaranteed promotion on this one, so he is now Colonel. Uh, we got a Suspiria Scope, which is really good. Um, reduce Avatar, I suppose, is going to be what I'm going to go for. There's a chance for Ambush on here, but at the same time, do I care? Um, <laughs> so we could send these two out. They're both colonels, though, so the promotion is less valuable there. I probably want to send out one of my mages. I guess both my mages. Dracon Ivanov? Probably not a bad pawn to send out. Um, I'll give the promotion to uh, Greco because specialist I find like I only need one sharpshooter. Like having two is fine but like um, what's what's the other sharpshooter I've got? I can't remember her name. Uh, Keenan, that's right. Um, I have Keenan as a sharpshooter and she's going to be my main sharpshooter so I care more about having a secondary um, specialist up in promotion ranks. But I'm happy with that. Go for it. It won't take long. Six days. You got a promotion. Um, these are both good. I. I mean, I'll grab both, but honestly, it's it's rare that you get enough damage taken to all your guys where restoration is worth it, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, what do you have currently? Regular speed. Could give you superior speed for plus four mobility. That's something. Um, you've got a crap weapon on. Uh, I'll do all this off camera, actually. I'm not going to go through it now. Um, before the next mission, I'll outfit them all appropriately. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Cool. These shield bearers are not all that dissimilar from their various advent peers. Their armor is perhaps the most distinctive feature differentiating them. Experimental armor is interesting. Um, I can now instantly do a spectre autopsy, so Referred let's do that. To by our troops in the field simply as a spectre. It has so far been difficult to ascertain by what means this being is able to shift forms from a solid to gaseous state at will. I had theorized it could be a cloud of nano machines, or perhaps even an insect swarm. However, those theories have proven false, while offering no new direction for my research. Interesting. I thought they were nano machines. Um, despite having both reconnaissance footage and eyewitness accounts from our soldiers in the field, until I had seen the specimen in person, I did not fully register just how unusual it is. Known colloquially as a spectre, based on its shadowy form in the field, the subject is most often seen maintaining a roughly humanoid form. However, when moving or engaging in combat actions, this form is quickly broken to reveal a true amorphous nature of the spectre. Although I had conceived of a number of theories on as to how it was taking place, example, swarming nanobots, alien insects, perhaps even some sort of psionic particle matrix, it isn't immediately clear to any of those it isn't immediately clear that any of those hypotheses are out of the realm of possibility. As of yet, we've found no means of recovering one of these spectres in their assembled form, leaving little evidence as to their true composition. Although it would seem likely that the spectre holds some intrinsic connection to the equally elusive codex. The means of traversing our world are distinct uh, distinct enough to require a different approach if we hope to further our research. Interesting. They don't really actually tell you much about anything there. You get the refractor field here, which gives you um, invisibility, I think. Yeah, you can enter you enter concealment immediately, which is cool, I suppose. Um, what does Sectopod give you? Can't remember. Can't remember. I know what the Berserker gives this you, and it's cool, I suppose. Creature long referred to as a berserker, is clearly a genetic relation to the other mutant species we have encountered in the field. 
For reasons yet unknown, this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage, a thirst for combat, unlike any other creature we've encountered. It's a pretty apt description of a berserker, I suppose. Um, let's see, can anyone else go in here? Yeah, you two can. Since you've come back from mission. Alright, make contact please. Oh my gosh. I do want to go to the black market. There we go! Made contact. Um, I'll skip that. Sweet! That's amazing. Uh, the effect of all weapon modifications is increased. This is outstanding. It essentially adds either plus one or ten or uh, an extra step to whatever your modification is. So uh, essentially, a basic modification turns into a superior one. A superior, uh, sorry, an advanced one. An advanced one turns into superior, and superior gets even better still. It does one step above that even. So superior upgrades become insanely good. Like probably overpowered, if I'm being perfectly honest. But I'm okay with being overpowered. Um. Alright, so reduced contact cost I like. I also like this. Uh, what reduced contact cost does, by the way, is the next time you want to contact any continent, when you go to contact them, they will, uh... Ugh. Uh, it will be half the cost. Ooh, that's worth it. 243 supplies and 73 intel. Neutralize target in advent vehicle. <laughs> Operation half Eaten justice, what a name. Uh, elite officer, elite trooper, elite shield bearer, archon, specter, and gatekeeper. That's really easy. The gatekeeper is the only thing there that's vaguely scary. Everything else is nothing. And there's only nine enemies? I'll definitely do this. Also, Keenan just recovered, so that was good timing, I suppose. Alright, so I'll cut here, and I'll be back with a built team, and I'll have decked everybody out. Alright, and we're back. This is the team we're going to be taking next time. Um... I won't go over everything I did. The only notable things is I upgraded a bunch of their weapons. Um, I replaced a, a couple of PCS. Uh, for instance, uh, Keenan, uh, the Deacon, he had uh, PCS speed, and I upgraded him to PCS superior speed, so he can run even further now. Um, I have put her in a Wraith suit. Um, so she has a grappling hook, and she can phase through walls. Um, that's pretty much it. So next time we'll be taking on, uh, this, uh, council mission. And it should be pretty easy, judging by the enemies. Also, apparently there's only nine enemies, which makes me think maybe a Fallen will show up. We'll see, I suppose. But, thanks for watching, I shall see you next time, where we'll take on Operation Half-Eaten Justice. I don't know how they come up with the names. I'm assuming it's some kind of, like, randomized algorithmic thing, but it's really, really cool. <laughs> the names are ridiculous, and I love them. Anyway, I shall see you next time. Bye.